I spent seven years in a state penitentiary for women. What do you know, what do any of you know about what goes on inside of a place like that? You could send a saint into that zoo. She'd come out an animal. That's what I am. An animal. You think I care what those people think? You think I care where I live? Do you think it really bothers me that I had to have you beaten up to make my story work? No. There's one human thing left in me that they couldn't destroy. And that's my love for my children. That's all I've got left. And it's all that kept me alive. And when I got out, and I saw what was happening to them, then I reacted like the cunning little animal that they create in those zoos that you good people call prisons. Don't ask me for an apology, because you won't get one. It worked, and I would do it again. Every single act. And what about Tony Oliveira? Everyone thinks he convicted an innocent woman. Let's play keep away. Look. Catch it, Herbie. Here it comes, Chris. I got oh, it. Why didn't you ever catch it? I did that. You throw it over his head all the time. Here, John, throw it to me. Throw here it, it to comes. me. Okay, here it comes. Got it. Get it. With your help. Okay. Now throw it back to me. Okay, here. Catch it, Herbie. Okay, here. Catch it. Got it. I got it. Here it comes. Come on, John, catch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad about Tony Oliver. It's too bad that I'd have you beaten up to make my story work. Way to go. Well, my children are getting that chance at life. They didn't kill their father. I did. There was a time when I never could have said that without also saying that it was an accident. But I did it in a moment of blind passion or whatever. I don't care now. After what I've lived through, that moment seems sweet sanity. You wouldn't do anything to hurt those boys. Goodbye, Alice. Paul? Oh, yeah. Go get it, what are you going to do? Get it. 